Well, joining us once again for our weekly entertainment panel is Abby St. John. Abby, lots of sad news in the entertainment world, especially with the passing of Chadwick Boseman last week. And of course, tributes are still pouring in, but I just want your thoughts on his passing. Well, like you said, it's been a very tragic uh, time. He passed away uh, only a few days ago, August 28th, of colon cancer, which he was diagnosed back in 2016. Now, if you go back to 2016 and look through all the movies that he did throughout that time period, he gave us such iconic characters like Captain, uh, like Black Panther in Captain America. That was his first appearance as T'Challa and the Black Panther. And then Infinity War, Endgame, and also his standalone Black Panther movie, which is the first standalone uh, superhero movie featuring a black person. So that was a huge deal for so many people across the world and it was an incredible movie that brought in millions upon millions of dollars and it really just paved the way for young black actors to getting into this business and to really show um, the diversity of Hollywood and you know to even make it more diverse so that's exactly what he did um, in that time period which is incredible because no one knew that he was sick um, it became it came as a shock to everyone when he did pass because he kept his cancer under wraps probably so that he could continue working and to continue giving us such iconic characters uh, you know, just to name a few more iconic characters and of course Jackie Robinson was another one as well as playing James Brown on Get On Up but uh, Abby the tributes are pouring in from everyone that he's worked with and it seems like he's had such an amazing impact whether it was on screen or off screen working with such great actors and of course all the love is pouring in for Chadwick. Yes, definitely. Uh, all across Twitter and Instagram, all over the internet, um, people, celebrities, they've been pouring in their support and love for the late actor. And including his Marvel cast, Robert Downey Jr. tweeted out, Mr. Bozeman leveled the playing field while fighting for his life. That's heroism. Uh, I'll remember the good times, the laughter, and the way he changed the game. Hashtag Chadwick forever. Uh, Twitter actually did retweet um, his uh, his post that he made or that his team made after his passing announcing that he has passed away um, they retweeted it saying most like tweet ever a tribute fit for a king hashtag Wakanda forever um, and uh, uh, along with so many other celebrities and uh, tributes pouring in uh, you see children all over the world really tributing him by holding a funeral with all of their action figures and just showing the impact of this one character this one character that he portrayed made such an impact that it's going to last a lifetime and in these it's going to be instilled in these kids minds forever the uh heroism that he did portray in his life and out and in his characters he would visit many hospitals and visit a lot of sick children in the cancer ward uh as as t'challa as black panther to show his support and i think that's a really huge thing for him to do and it really just goes to show what an amazing person he was outside of his acting career. Absolutely, and of course, his co-star in Black Panther, Michael B. Jordan, also giving a heartwarming tribute on Instagram as well. Now, Abby, of course, um, just, allow, just before we wrap up here, um, he is from South Carolina, and they did say that there is a petition going around online that uh, to replace the Confederate statue with uh, Chadwick Boseman. So it already has, it's already gaining a lot of traction. So how likely could we see that petition fall, fall through? Well, it is all up to the Senate as it is a landmark, so legally it can't be removed unless it gets approval from the Senate. But there's over 35,000 signatures on this petition to get um, the statue of the Confederate soldier moved to a mu museum and replaced with the statue of Chadwick in Anderson, South Carolina. Now, there is a long paragraph on the petition just explaining the reasons behind this and just a little um, excerpt from it. He opened up many doors for many young black people with his leading roles in movies such as Black Panther or Marshall. It is only natural that his hometown honors what he did. Uh, and he, they did go on saying that they don't want to see the Confederate statue destroyed, but they would ra much rather see it put into a museum where it belongs and have a statue of Chadwick Boseman to replace him in his hometown. I think, I think it should go through just because of the impact that he made in his life throughout his acting career. And like I said before, outside of his acting career with all the amount of support he did for the community. 
Well, he definitely will be missed, no doubt about it, especially through the Marvel Universe as well as in the acting community. Abby St. John, thank you very much. Thank you.